Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name's Emily and this is Ready Steady Sew. So I thought I'd do another Friday Sews video for you today. My last one a couple of weeks ago went down really well. I got quite a lot of positive feedback for it. So thank you very much for that. And I did enjoy doing it actually. And I really enjoy watching other people's Friday Sews videos. So I thought I would do one today. I have got a couple of sewing challenges to share with you, which I'm sure you've heard about, but I'll share them anyway. I have got a few fabrics to share with you, a couple of patterns that I've got to share with you, and then just some bits and bobs of things that I've been doing to share and then what I've been sewing and what I'm planning on sewing next week. Now, I didn't do a video last week because I was poorly, COVID caught us in our household, but um, so I didn't do a lot, so there's not much to share in terms of what we did last week, but i'm back sewing again i'm hoping to get some things done this afternoon so i will tell you what my plans are for the rest of this week so i'll start with the sewing challenges now you've probably heard i've got my notebook you've probably heard of them already but i will share them there are two that i know of going on in april and the first one is selfless sew april 22 and i will put an image here of the challenge and it's being run by adele who is so for serenity over on instagram and youtube and crystal who is my social thread again on instagram and youtube I will link to their videos and channels below because they've both published videos giving you more information about this channel. Basically, as it sounds, you do a bit of selfless sewing. So you can sew something for your partner, your mum, your dad, your pet, your grandma, your granddad, your baby, your child, whoever you want to sew for, you can sew something for them. It doesn't have to be clothing, it can be accessories as well. I know Adele's um, planning on making a dog coat for her dog, which I think will look really cute. I'm looking forward to seeing the end result of that. And I do have some plans for that and I will share them later on this video. But I thought that was a really nice challenge to get involved in. They have got a ton of prizes. <laughs> the prizes they've got are amazing. So it's definitely worth checking out. And they've I think they've split it into categories as well. So the um, I'll put a picture here of the categories that they're using. Um, but yeah, it'd be really fun challenge to get involved in. I think it's one of my make nine prompts to do some selfless sewing. So hopefully if I get this made this month, I can tick another thing off my make nine. By the way, as usual, it's really bright and sunny outside. It keeps going grey and cloudy, then going really bright and sunny. And the sun is right in front of me. I've got my curtains shut again, but... Uh, it's really bright so if I'm squinting that's what it is it's the sun just glaring at me so I apologize for that so that's the first challenge I think they want you to reveal your makes at the end of the month but if you want to share any kind of sneak peeks or work in progress you use hashtag so selfless sewing no tell them properly selfless sew april 22 wip that's just so on the day of the reveal day it's easier for them to collate all the entries into it. But that's a really fun, nice challenge that I think is worth taking part in. And the second challenge that's happening in April is hashtag SoAprilBlast22. And again, I'll put a picture here. And that is being run by Kristen, who is the Dali Society, and uh, Gabrielle, who is Cloth Edit. And again, I will link to their channels down below. And I believe you just have to sew a blouse, any blouse you like. It can be like a button-up shirt blouse, could be something like the sagebrush top, any blouse. And I have a potential plan for that, which I may or may not do. We will see, but uh, I will tell you about that later on when I get to my plans. But yeah, two challenges running in April. So really fun to get involved in if you're able to. But I thought I'd share them with you for this month. So on to the fabrics that I have bought now last time, which I think was two weeks ago. I shared some fabric and I said I had a delivery and order on, well, I had two deliveries on order, one from Rainbow Fabrics and one from Felicity Fabrics. They have both arrived and I have also done another order with Rainbow Fabrics and another order with Felicity Fabrics in the meantime. The Felicity Fabrics one has also arrived, but the Rainbow Fabrics order hasn't. That was from, was it Sunday? They released their last drop of uh, fabrics, which I was itching to get some of. I did order two fabrics in that, but they haven't arrived yet. But So I will share them at a later date. But I'll show you with you what I've got so far. So my first order from Felicity Fabrics was for two things. Now, one was just some navy blue ribbing. Now, if you remember, I did buy some leopard print French terry from Guthrie Garney a week or two ago and when and I ordered black ribbon to go with that but when it arrived the leopard print was actually navy not black so I thought I can't really use black ribbon for the cuffs and neckband so I ordered some navy now it is quite a dark navy but I've just bought half a meter of this navy ribbing which I want to use with the I'm trying to see if I can find it no I can't see it but um 
one to use with the French Terry to make the Jarrah sweater, Megan Nilsson Jarrah sweater. And this is going to be the cuff and neckband and hopefully the hemband as well. So yeah, that's my first thing from Felicity Fabrics. And then the second thing I got in the same order was this beautiful rainbow jersey fabric. I got a metre of it. It's cotton jersey. I got a metre of it, as you can see. Hold it up to camera. Yep, so it's just a lovely cream base cotton jersey with rainbows on it. As soon as I saw it on their Instagram, I thought I've got to get that for India, my baby. Um, we've got rainbows in her bedroom and like everything we've got for her is rainbow. So I want to make her something with this. So that is potentially one of my plans for Selfless So April. I want to make it either a t-shirt or a dress or a t-shirt and shorts out of this fabric. I'm not sure what pattern I'm going to use yet. I have got another plan for her, which I'm going to talk about. And that is something I'm going to be working on. But this is another a second kind of entry for Selfless So April. Yes, yeah, so I've got this from Felicity Fabrics. And I do love getting a Felicity Fabrics order because it comes in the box. And it's all nicely packaged. And you get your little envelope with your swatch, which gives you all the washing information and fibres and fabric composition. And then you get your little handwritten note. And oh, it's just so lovely. It's like Christmas getting an order from Felicity Fabrics. So yeah, I do enjoy ordering from them. So that was my first order from them, the ribbon and the jersey. And then last week, I think it was, they had 20% off some of their fabrics and, and included just linen viscose. So I just bought a plain black linen viscose. Now I might think Emily ordered a black linen a few weeks ago. Why do you need linen viscose? Well, I think my plans have changed slightly because the more I look at my black linen, I keep thinking jumpsuit, jumpsuit. So I keep thinking I could make maybe the Zadie jumpsuit in the black linen or some, what was one other plan? can't remember but Zaley jumpsuit was one of them that I was um hoping to make or planning on making so I think I'm going to make trousers in this because I think this will be just that little bit comfier that little bit nicer to wear with it being having viscose in it's um yeah it's a lot more drapier so I'm going to use these this to make trousers so I got two and a half meters and it was 20% off so it made it quite a bargain actually um so yeah two and a half meters and again I think I'm going to use the Tammy handmade henna I hope i've said that right this time henna trousers with it which is just like an elasticated waist loose fitting trouser so that's my plan for this to make those trousers with that and then the final fabric that i've got to share with you is from rainbow fabrics and this was from not their very last drop which was last sunday it was from the one before which was a couple of weeks ago and it was i think it was the first part of their turkey dead stock if you follow the instagram I ordered two fabrics and one didn't one had sold out so i was really upset about that um but they were really kind and they emailed me and they said you can either have three meters of another fabric you can have a refund or we'll give you a voucher and the amount the the, the voucher was for was for slightly more than i paid and bear in mind i did also use a discount code so i did get 20 percent off these as well so the amount in the voucher was Quite a bit more actually than what i actually paid for the fabric so i've taken the voucher now the voucher code didn't arrive till after i'd ordered my last order with them that should be arriving soon so i've still got this voucher so next time i have a drop i will be able to use this voucher to purchase even more fabric from them but you know they have nice fabric and it's always really really affordable really reasonably priced so i can't complain so anyway i ordered this fabric i ordered this lilac floral uh, viscose fabric which i think is really really pretty and obviously with ordering three meters because i always order three meters from them with it being so reasonably priced um uh, it, to me it's screaming dress it needs to be a summer dress now i'm not entirely sure what i'm going to make but in my head i can't stop thinking about the named clothing now is it called the Tyco dress i put a picture of it here it's the one of the newest patterns they've just released it's like a midi length button down. It's a bit like the Shelby dress, but it's slightly different. And in my head, that's what I want to make. The named clothing Tyco, I think it's called. If I'm saying that properly. Dress, which is beautiful. So at the moment, that is what I'm thinking. If you've got any other suggestions for what dress I could make with this beautiful fabric. As I say, I've got three metres. It's a viscose. Please let me know. But that is my initial plan with this. And I'm looking forward to getting my other two fabrics from Rainbow Fabrics soon because they're also, I think they're viscose crepes. 
and I think they all make really pretty dresses as well. So that is the one, two, three, three fabrics and some ribbon that I've got to share with you that have arrived this week or last week or two. This week I have got or acquired three new patterns. Now I didn't pay for any of them. Two are free anyway and I'll talk about this in a second and the other one that I got was a sew over it well a poppy and jazz pattern now because I'm a pattern insider I do get access to all their pattern library for free I can download any of their patterns for free so I decided to do that now I did ask in my last Friday sews videos for suggestions because I've got this fabric let me just grab it this chambray fabric for India my, my baby my little girl um I've washed it so it's a bit crazy because it's been pre-washed but I haven't ironed it yet and I want to make her some sort of romper suit slash dungaree slash pinafore dress and some of you gave me suggestions and I checked them out and they're really really nice beautiful patterns and I probably will end up making some of them or buying some of them at some point but I decided to get the raspberry romper from Poppy and Jazz and I'll put a picture of the pattern here I've got it here printed out I need to stick it together so that's one of my jobs for this week. But um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to making her something. I've never made her anything before. So this is the first time I've made any kind of baby wear, children's wear. And I'm really looking forward to it. But um, yeah, I got so I did get the pattern for free. Um, but I'm hoping to make it. I think I'm going to make the 12 to 18 month size. So I'm, I'm, I measured a chest and a waist size. And that puts her in like a 12 to 18 month size. But then I measured a length. And that puts her in the 6 to 9 month size. Now she's seven and a half months old, so she's she's not um she's in six nine month clothes at the moment. Um, she's going to be going to nine to twelve months soon, but I wanted to get a bit of wear out of this, so I think I'm going to make the twelve to eighteen month size. I may extend the legs to make it more like trousers, more of a dungaree pattern. I'm not sure yet. I'll have to see with it being with the length being a bit smaller. I might not need to, but yeah, that is my plan anyway. So I've downloaded the raspberry romper from Poppy and Jazz. And I'm going to use this fabric to make that for India. And then the other two patterns that I downloaded, as I say, were free patterns. And these have come off the back of So Frugal. Now, I've watched so many videos and I really enjoyed March. I really enjoyed watching everyone's videos and seeing everyone's makes on last week when the, um, everyone was revealing what they made. And there's two patterns that I didn't have that have really stuck out in my head that I do want to make at some point. One is the Paddington Top by Peppermint Magazine, which has been ridiculously popular. Um, I think everybody's made one except me and the other one is the Harper cardigan by Sinclair Patterns and again that's a really nice pattern I've got some grey um, sweater knit fabric I've got two and a half metres of it so I could get a decent sized cardigan out of that and I like with the Harper cardigan it comes in all different sizes like a tall and a petite and lots of different options and variations with for that as well like and there's like um, a waist length cardigan version a kind of thigh length a duster version so again lots of scope for free, free pattern i think it's really good and everything i've seen and read about it's been really positive so um at some point i would like to make that and the Paddington top again looks beautiful my plan for that one is i haven't got it with me because it's in the wash but the cotton if i can find a picture i will put it here the cotton fabric that came in last month's so Haley jane box i got the pink and gray colorway um so i'm thinking i might possibly make the paddington top in that i don't know yet for sure but that's one of my plans i have also got a load of viscose fabrics that i could use for it as well but with the puffy sleeves the cotton would be a better choice because obviously the sleeves will stand up stand out a bit more but yeah that is my pattern so the raspberry romper by poppy and jazz the paddington top from peppermint magazine and the harper cardigan from sinclair patterns are my new patterns for this week so previously i have spoke about how i want to make more kind of cohesive outfits and make modules and like um, capsule wardrobe type things and kind of use up the fabrics that i've already got in my stash i have got a lot of pretty viscoses i don't have a lot of plain fabric so um, I've recently bought quite a few plain fabrics to try and make trousers or things to go to make cohesive outfits. So one of the things that I've done is I've cut a little swatch off of nearly all the fabrics in my stash. So I've got them here. Um, well, like loads of them here, all different <laughs> fabrics. Like I've got my blue leopard print. I've got this pretty viscose fabric. Um, this is the Paddington top, potential Paddington top fabric. Little swatch of it that I just spoke about. Um, so I've cut a little swatch off all of them and my plan is to kind of put them together 
to try and make outfits so i've had lots of fun actually kind of matching patterns to fabrics and matching fabrics together to make potential outfits as i say i haven't got many plain fabrics that are suitable so i've been trying to buy them so i've cut out a swatch of the black linen that i bought and a swatch of the khaki viscose twill these two swatches that i got recently from Sami sunshine because i want to make trousers well definitely to make trousers with this one this may become a jumpsuit now but i've got that linen viscose instead to replace it so it's still gonna be black trousers and then i've been trying to match fabrics for tops now i've got this white um it's cotton lawn i think a white cotton lawn with these neon flowers embroidered on this was from so over it which i bought in the summer i think it was and um, so this goes nicely with the black and the khaki as you can see and then it does match with the khaki as well so i'm gonna make a top with this and i'm not entirely sure but i'm thinking all i can think of is the gilbert shirt by helen's closet that is what's in my head although there's another pattern which i can't talk about yet that i could make with this so i can't tell you what it is yet but um this one so i could use that but i'm definitely gonna make a top with this and then i was struggling to try and find another fabric that went with the khaki the black's fine i've got loads of fabrics that'll go with the black but it's the khaki fabric but then i've got this leopard print viscose fabric and i think that will go quite nicely with it i was quite surprised but that's the only other fabric i've got that i think will go really well with it so again i'm thinking of making another top with this now again all i can think of is the helen's closet gilbert shirt for some reason that's to me that's what this needs to be i could make the patina blouse as well that's another option but yeah so that's where i'm at with those and i've also got the paddington top fabric so i think that could just just match with it maybe i'm not sure possibly but yeah so basically i've just been cutting swatches of fabric and playing about with them and matching them up and one thing i discovered also as i was doing this is when i was sorting them out i was going that fabric's for a dress that fabric's for a dress that fabric's for a dress so i've got loads and loads of fabrics like this one beautiful um crepe this crepe um this crepe <laughs> uh what else have i got i've got this gingham fabric um, I've got this pretty textured viscose fabric. Um, I've got this viscose fabric. So I've got lots of different fabrics as well that I have had earmarked. This one, this is for a Shelby dress, potentially. That I have had earmarked for dresses, but I've not made a dress for a long, long time. So because I've got so many fabrics in my stash that I'm planning on making dresses with, I think I need to get making dresses because I must have at least 10 fabrics in my stash that I'm thinking that's a dress, that's a dress, that's a dress, that's a dress. So that's going to be one of my things for the summer, for the summer months, is maybe make quite a few dresses, get the fabrics out of my stash, get them sewn up into dresses. So yeah, if you've got any nice summer dresses suggestions, I've got, um, I've got, well, I've got loads, I've got the Alidy dress, I've got the Lyra dress, I've got the Indigo dress, um, I've got the Eve dress I've never made. I've got the Irma shirt dress from Iron Patterns that I quite want to make. I've got the Shelby dress. I've got loads of dress patterns, loads and loads and loads. So if you've got any suggestions of any of these swatches that I could potentially use, make a dress out of, please let me know. But I just thought I'd share with you what I've been doing and how I've been trying to plan my wardrobe and plan what I want to make in the coming months. And I thought cutting the swatches and then kind of mixing and matching. And I think what I'm going to do is get some sort of notebook or a system where I kind of stick the swatch down and then write what's going to be maybe sketch it out or something i don't know but yeah i'm planning on making designing kind of a cohesive kind of wardrobe a capsule wardrobe using my swatches and fabrics that was in my stash to try and use them up and to make things that match and go together so i've got lots more wearable outfits and so finally on to what i did last week in terms of sewing and what i'm planning on doing this week in terms of sewing last week as i said i was poorly i didn't get a lot done the only thing i did was i cut out my cali shirt dress in the blue double gauze which was in january's i think so hilly jane box i got the navy this is a little swatch of it 
I got the navy colorway with the gold sunshines on. So I have cut my color shirt dress out. So that is the, the only sewing related thing that I got done really besides buying free patterns and cutting out swatches. So this week, I'm definitely going to make a start on my Cali shirt dress. I don't know how far I'll get with it, but I'm definitely going to make a start on that. I'm also going to get the Raspberry Romper set stuck together and cut out and make a start on that. That's my kind of only two firm plans that I want to get done. However, I really want to make a pair of the henna trousers. As I say, I've got the khaki and the black that I want to make them in. I think I'll start on the black because that's like, like a safer option. So, yeah, I'm hoping... I might get that stuck together and cut out and then possibly if I have time I will do some work on the Paddington top but again I'm not 100% on that that's not set in stone but the Cali shirt dress definitely I'm going to maybe you see the longer shirt dress version as I've got it all cut out I've, I've also interfaced some of it as well so I've made a start on it in that sense so I want to get that makes good start on that I want to cut out my raspberry romper set for India and potentially get that sewn up and um, maybe the henna trousers from Tammy handmade but we'll see in the pant and top as a possibility I think I like to have lots of ideas and lots of potential plans I try and I've started trying to kind of batch cut projects out so when I get time because it's easy for me to cut things out because I cut them out downstairs in the, in the kitchen on the table and India's around so I'm I can leave her you know in the living room I can, I can see her basically so I can cut stuff out and she can be there whereas sewing I'm kind of in my own room and I can't watch her <laughs> when I'm sewing whereas I can watch her when I'm still cutting stuff out so um it's easy for me to get things cut out so I'd, I'd like to try and get two or three things cut out so I've got options to work from and also when I make my plans because I'm going to do my April plans video soon when I have got plans for sewing, I like to make too many plans. So then I've again got options I can choose from my six or seven plans that I want to make. But yeah, that's what I'm up to this week. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed my Friday sales video. Please get, leave me a comment. Tell me what you're up to this week. Have you got any suggestions for patterns, for dress patterns for me? Um, anything you want to share? And um, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and, and uh, subscribe if you don't already. Um, I think two people away from 1500 subscribers which is amazing so thank you so much if you have subscribed already I'm so close and I'll be heading my way to 2000 subscribers soon which will be absolutely amazing but thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video bye